Okay, take a look at this guy. This is a Cobb LED. This is about, uh, well, here's my hand. You know, it's about five inches long. Cobb LED stands for circuit on board, so it's like an integrated module on here. And, uh, boy, a lot of potential for this to produce light. Um, just check this out. Let me just set it down here. I've got it hooked to a power supply. This guy is rated for uh, 12 to 14, so I got it way low now. And you can see it's just barely lighting up. So let me just kind of gradually turn this up. And up and up and up and up to full power, 12, 13-ish. Let's go to about uh, 13, 12 and a half, somewhere in there. It's pulling just over an amp, and it is cranking out the light here. Let's get a little ratio on that face. There we go. Look at that. 12 to 1 ratio. All right, go ahead and turn the, just a comparison here. So I'm just going to turn the light off, but here's our, don't turn it off yet. Here's our two, uh, these are compact fluorescents up here. So these are basically two 60 watt equivalents. And this is this uh, LED. Go ahead and kill that light. And look at how light it is in here. This is a 30, I think it's around a 3000 Kelvin. So it's a really nice, not super yellow. It's actually a really pleasant light. And look at the way it's lighting this whole room. This is one LED module, guys. This is about a 10 watt module. It's putting out about a thousand plus lumens. I'm guessing, depending on where the power fluctuation sits, it's anywhere from 900 to 1200 lumens. And a uh, whole lot of light coming off this one little LED for only 10 watts of power. A lot of potential here. And uh, this runs directly off 12 volt DC. So, of course, to do, I'm going to turn that on, to do. Uh, 110 to run it off 110 we'd of course have to have a converter but uh, fully dimmable all that good stuff and uh, let me just turn it back up here to about 12 12 and a half and uh, where a battery would be and we, we see we're going so depending on where you put the voltage the amperage is fluctuating between about one amp and two amps depending on where in the in the range you put it. But the bottom line is, this is a really cool light. This is the first time I've played with a cob. I'm not sure when these uh, came to be, but I think we're going to start seeing a lot more of them. They come in a lot of different voltages and configurations and things like that, and they put off an incredible amount of juice. They're pretty cool. That's all.